Hello friends and welcome back to our homestead. Recently I posted a video about how I make oregano homemade medicine, uh, oregano tincture and oregano infused oil and um, I used a dehydrated plant material that I purchased online saying that I didn't have any fresh. Well, recently I was blessed with a big two gigantic bags of organically grown, good quality oregano, fresh oregano. So I decided to quickly take that opportunity and preserve it. So my husband and I, we recently obtained a freeze dryer and I used a freeze dryer to preserve my oregano. Now, freeze drying and a dehydrator are two separate things, okay? Two separate things. A dehydrator is removing moisture by using low, um, low amount of heat and air ventilation to dry your fruit, to dry your herbs, to dry whatever, okay? That is a dehydrator. And with a dehydrator, it is a relative low cost um, machinery, but unfortunately with a dehydrator, it changes its color. So I don't wanna show you what brand this is, but I will bring it closer and I'll show you the difference, what it looks like when it's dehydrated herb. It turns a little brownish almost, right? So, and also it loses its medicinal and nutritional value, about 15%, give or take, right? Also, dehydrated herbs have a shorter shelf life. After two years, it's really no good. It loses its flavor, it loses its aroma, and its nutritional value. So at this point, it becomes, in my opinion, it becomes like straw. It's really useless at this point. Now, freeze dryer works very differently. A freeze dryer removes moisture by um, also turning things into vapor, but without using that heat that kills nutritional value. So uh, the nutritional and medicinal value loss is very minimal compared to a dehydrator. Yes, freeze dryer is a little bit more money, but it's a great investment. And I am finding myself using a freeze dryer to preserve foods these days a whole lot more often than I would have done it in the past. So what I did was I just took my, um, I took my fresh herbs, I used scissors to cut them up into little chunks to expose more surface area, allowing it to freeze dry quicker and uniform. And it took about 22 hours, I think, 24 hours maybe, to completely freeze dry these beautiful oregano pieces into this dry oregano now. Now it's still a little bulky, it's still uh, cut up in chunks, but I just wanna show you, I'm gonna bring the camera closer, and I wanna show you how beautiful the color and the texture is very intact, and the aroma is very much intact. So now I have all of this beautiful, nice and green dried plant material that I need to turn it into powder because I'm gonna be replacing what I have currently in my kitchen. Now, let me, oh, this is too much I took. Let me show you the difference, guys. Do you see the color? This is what I'm talking about. So this was, is not, this one is not expired at all. As a matter of fact, I purchased it earlier in 2024. So it's a little bit over a year old, just as, you know, a little bit. But what I'm saying is that when we buying these herbs at the grocery store, sometimes we have no idea when it was harvested, when it was processed, how long it sat in some warehouse before it actually made it to our grocery store shelf. And then at the end, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. So I, again, I don't wanna show you the, what brand this is, but I just wanna show you, look how dark it is. And the aroma is not the same at all. Now, this is so fresh and very fragrant, and the color is still intact. So what I wanna do now is, after they've been freeze dried, they're nice and dry now, I'm gonna be using a food processor to turn it into powder that I can now put it 
for my storage and to use in my kitchen. All right, so I have this beautiful stainless steel trays that everything was freeze dried on. And now I'm just going to polarize it into manageable size. I don't want to make a mess in my kitchen and then and then we will store it and I'm going to be using it for all kinds of cooking I mean I make lots of chili I always use it in my tomato sauce I all my Greek all my Italian cooking all my Mediterranean cooking I use lots and lots of oregano I mean yes I make medicine because from oregano because it's very very beneficial it has antioxidant um, beneficial properties that helps your body to get rid of free, free radicals, protect you from cancer and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it is antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory. It has a lot of good properties. All right, so also it's delicious. All right, so I'm gonna just turn this on. I'm gonna make a little noise and I'm gonna turn it into powder, little tiny powder, so we can use it for cooking. Some of the sticks didn't want to break, but it's okay. We don't need them. I'm going to separate the sticks from all the other powdery stuff. Okay, so I just have a glass dish and I'm just gonna sift this through a sifter okay to get all these sticks out because we don't need them okay and all we want is that powder and all that powder is separating right now look at that so from that huge bag two bags of oregano i'm getting very little powder all of those sticks we don't need necessarily all we want is the powder to fall through Unfortunately, it is a lot of sticks, but it's okay. It's quite all right. I can use these sticks now if I want to, to make some other infusion oil or something like that. It doesn't have to go to waste. Now, right, let's see what we got here. Okay. And here is our beautiful oregano. Nice, huh? All right, let me continue working on the rest of these trays and pulverize them as well. I've decided to utilize my spice grinder to deal with these sticks because I don't wanna waste them either. They're gonna produce probably a little bit lighter color, but let's turn them into powder as well why not all right i'm gonna do this in portions all right it's gonna make a little noise so i'm gonna mute the video all right let's take a look Woo! yup look how pretty it's a little lighter in color because they were the stems but it's okay if you could just if i could translate the aroma in my kitchen oh my goodness there is no words that i can explain it smells so wonderful in my kitchen right now fresh oregano there's nothing like it look how beautiful look how beautiful this is i have officially retired my dehydrator I no longer use it for anything. I solely now use only my freeze dryer to preserve all of my herbs. Okay, so now I'm gonna store it up in a dry, clean glass container. Let's pour this all in here. Hopefully it will fit. Oh, it will. Oh, 
Look at this. Now again, let's compare store-bought and this one. Can you guys tell the difference? I wasn't kidding. Look at the difference. This one is full of aroma. All of those beautiful properties of oregano is still here. And this is now at this point is brown beige dust. It's gonna go in my compost where it belongs. Okay, my beautiful oregano is ready for storage. As always, I need to label it. So I'm just using um, the regular label, um, you know, print paper that you get and I write oregano freeze dried the year I made it and it's going to go in my kitchen cupboard and I'm going to be cooking with this so this is can be used for medicinal purposes obviously but this particular one is going to be for my kitchen and this this is going to go in the trash I'm not kidding look at the difference look at the difference can you tell the difference so friends Freeze dryers are not cheap, but it's a great investment. Um, we chose to go with the large size Harvest Right freeze dryer. They are running specials right now. If you guys are interested, I'm going to put it in the link in the description box with the promotion code if you're interested to buy it. I feel like every gardener who loves to grow enough food to feed their family for a year or a homestead or a farmer, I believe that we should be having freeze dryers. Herbalists, we need freeze dryers. So it's the best way to preserve herbs. Come on, stick label, stick. I'm not joking because it is so much more economical and we know when it was preserved, what the shelf life will be. And yes, freeze dried herbs shelf life is a much, much longer than a dehydrated kind okay so there's a difference so friends i hope you are encouraged to grow your own herbs when you can't or don't have enough space purchase them organic good quality herbs and preserve them yourself because the ones that we buy in those little containers from the grocery store sometimes are full of heavy metals I don't know if you've seen that big article that was um, out not too long ago when they tested random, even the organic products, they tested them for heavy metals and they were full of bad ingredients in them. On this note, friends, I hope you are encouraged and try something new.